me tell you something that was so disturbing as I walked in to this chamber today. As I prepared, I said, what is the crime? Because when you're talking about impeachment, you're talking about high crimes or misdemeanors. And I, I can't seem to find the crime. And honestly, no one has testified of what crime they believe the president of the United States has committed. But when we start talking about things that look like evidence, they want to act like they blind. They don't know what this is. These are our national secrets. Looks like in the shitter to me. This looks like more evidence of our national secrets, say on a stage at Mar-a-Lago. When we're talking about somebody that's committed high crimes, it's at least indictments, let's say 32 counts related to unauthorized retention of national security secrets, seven counts related to obstructing the investigation, three false statements, one count of conspiracy to defraud the United States, falsifying business records, conspiracy to defraud the United States, two counts related to efforts to obstruct the vote certification proceedings, one count of conspiracy to violate civil rights, 23 counts related to forgery or false document statements, eight counts counts related to soliciting and I could go on because he's got 91 counts pending right now but I will tell you what the president has been guilty of he has unfortunately been guilty of loving his child unconditionally and that is the only evidence that they have brought forward and honestly I hope and pray that my parents love me half as much as he loves his child until they find some evidence we need to get back to the people's work which means keeping this government open so that people don't go hungry in the streets of the United States and I will yield.